Welcome to another session on Java Server Pages. In this session, we are going to see how to write code that will display the records from two different tables by joining the tables using an equijoin. So in this exercise, we are going to get this kind of an output. We are going to print the employee name and department name of all the employees of an organization. So here, employee name belongs to the employee table and department name be belongs to the department table. And we are joining these two tables using a foreign key. So how to establish foreign keys we have seen in our previous session. So we're going to use that concept and use the join query to fetch this result using a JSP program. So let me show you the uh, tables which I have created on PHP my admin. So I have the department table and employee table. In the employee table, I have employee ID, employee name, employee address, and department ID. So department ID is the foreign key here. And I also have the department table. So in the department table, I have the department ID and the department name. So from the employee table, we are going to take the employee name, use the department ID, and then join it with the department tables, department ID, and then we are going to find the department name. So department name from the department table and employee name from the employee table will finally be printed as an output. So now let's go to our uh, Eclipse and let's start writing the code for this. So in Eclipse, I've created a dynamic web project and I've also added a JSP file, display.jsp. When I added this JSP file, this code was auto-generated. The next thing is we're going to connect to the MySQL database from within our project. So it is very important to add the connected.jar file to the project. How to add that? Right click on the project, go to properties, go to Java build path, click on libraries, add external jars, and here, you have to add your connector.jar file. So I'm using connector Java 8.0.21 version of the jar file. Just open, apply and close. So I've already added that. And uh, if you take a look at the reference libraries, you'll be having MySQL connector.jar present there. So this step is very important while you're working with a MySQL database. So after this, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write the code to connect to the MySQL database here. So we are going to write some Java code. Whenever we are writing Java code, we have to enclose that within these delimiters. And I'll put everything within a try catch block so that we can catch any exceptions that can occur. And I'll print this stack trace, e dot get stack trace. So here we are going to write code to establish connection with the MySQL database. So this is where we are going to write code to establish a connection with the MySQL database. So for establishing a connection with the MySQL database, we have to load the drivers for that we'll call class dot uh, for name. And then we'll pass the driver information here that is com dot uh, MySQL dot CJ dot JDBC dot driver close the quotes dot and then you select new instance now we have to establish a connection so we have to create a connection object for that we have to import java dot sql dot star so we have to perform an import so we give that within the delimiters at page import is equal to in quotes java dot sql dot star so it's important that we import these packages so that our connection objects work fine. So we'll create a connection object here, cyn is equal to, we'll call driver manager dot get connection. And then we have to pass the URL username and password here. So the URL is jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 slash the database name is vit and then the username is root and then the password is null so our connection object is done next thing is we should create the sql string so we have to write the sql query let's create it as a string here let's call that uh, string sql and what is the query here we are going to fetch the employee name from one table and department name from one table by using the department id as the Key here. So we're going to write an equijoin query. Let me write the query here. It's select uh, employee name from the employee table and uh, department name from the department table. So from which table? 
that is employee and department table where we have department underscore id is equal to department id in the department table so this is a simple equi join we've already seen how to write this equi join query in our previous video lecture and how to establish foreign key so if you're not clear with this please refer to my lecture on establishing foreign keys on php my admin so you'll understand what this query does it just performs an equi join of two tables and retrieves the data from the two tables next we have to create an object of type prepared statement so let's uh, call it stmt is equal to connection dot get connection dot prepare statement and then we have to pass the string so this uh, query is passed as a string here after this we have to run this uh, sql query on the database for that we have to use a statement dot execute query so we have to use the prepare statement object to execute this query on the database so once when you execute that query it will return a result set right so we will use uh, result set rs is equal to we'll call this uh, statement dot execute query so this query is executed and returns a result set what is the result set it contains rows and columns and uh, next we'll check whether the result set is empty so if it's rs dot uh, next is equal to false we'll just write to the client out dot print ln we'll write uh, no records found in the tables okay else so if there are records found in the tables what we have to write or what we have to display to the user is we have to display an table so we are going to write the data result as an html table the table will have an header that is employee name and department name as the header and each record from the database will be returned in the rows of the html table so we are going to write html data now our java code ends here so what we will do is we will end that and then whatever table we are going to write we will write html content here so this is the html code and we'll have the first row which is the header row so th and here we are going to display employee name let me close this uh, header row and let me close this column that's what i mean the first row first column we have employee name as the header and the next column that's also a header column so we'll call that to be department name let me close this column and close this row so what this row is all about this row is all about the very first row employee name and department name which is static and it's an header so i'm writing it as an html table back to the client and uh, after writing this row what i have to do is i have to fetch the uh, data from the database right so i'll go with the do while condition now java code starts so i have to just open the delimiters and uh, here inside a do while uh, statement so i'm going to have do while rs dot next so i'm going to fetch all the rows from the database using a do while condition so this is java code that's why i open the delimiter again inside this i'm going to write every record in a inside an html table so whatever record i'm going to fetch will be written as a row in the html table right so again i'm going to start the row so let me close this uh, tag because i'm going to write html content now let me start a row that is and then the first column in the row okay so this is going to have the first column in the result set so it's going to be a java expression here so percentage equal to rs dot get string and then the column index is one now we have to close the column so what does this mean in the first row in the first column i am displaying the first column of the result set so it's very simple so this is the uh, row of the table and here this is rs dot get string of one and this is rs dot get string of two rs dot get string of one is in the first column of the html table that's what is given here rs dot get string of one is in the first column of the html table inside a row what is there in the next column it is rs dot so that whenever you are using java code you have to use percentage equal to it's rs dot get uh, string of two okay and then what we have to do is we have to close this uh, column and then we have to close the html uh, row that's uh, that's the meaning 
so our html code is done next what is starting is an uh, java code so we again you start you start the delimiters because this is java code and we will close this delimiter here Why I'm closing the delimiter here is we have again HTML code starting here. And so we should start again. So we, we have to open and close wherever we have uh, Java code, we have to open and close the delimiter. That's very important. That's it. So we have closed this and here we are writing HTML. We are embedding all the Java code here. Again, uh, uh, we have written some HTML again some java code so opening the delimiters and then closing the delimiter again html code opening the delimiter because again java code comes here again closing the delimiter because we have html code here so wherever you are embedding java code we have to open the delimiters and we have to close them whenever the java code finishes so these are the important steps it may be quite frustrating to open and close uh, this but uh, that's how it is done whenever you are embedding java code inside html please put them inside the delimiters and you write uh, the html code just close the delimiter have the html code again when you start writing java code open the delimiters and close them wherever necessary now let us save this let's run this and check whether a code really works so it is uh, run as run on server next finish yeah so now our table is available the data from the database is visible but then the borders are not available for this what we can do is we can just uh, enable the borders for our html table by just giving a uh, border is equal to one the, the styling should be done using uh, cascading style sheets but just to view it as a table i am enabling the borders let me run this again so run as run on server next finish yeah so now you see the output so this output has been fetched from the mysql database from two different tables uh, the employee name is from the employee table and the department name is from the department table and these two tables were joined using the department id so we ran a join query to fetch these two tables and another important thing is we have returned the data back as an HTML table to the user. So the entire database table was returned as an HTML table to the user. I hope you have understood this. Thank you all.